Grade 6 Math, number 1.7, How to Write Algebraic Expressions. An algebraic expression is a math phrase that includes at least one variable. 5x is an algebraic expression. A variable is an alphabetical letter that stands for an unknown number. Instead of writing blank plus 3 equals 5, we write x plus 3 equals 5, and x is our variable. See? Instead of a gray box, an empty box, or an empty line like we used in first grade, we can use variables. The kid's stuff was, you know, 3 times a box equals 6, and you wrote the number in the box, or 3 times a line equals 6, and you wrote the number on the line. Well, the grown-up stuff is 3 times y equals 6, or 3 with a dot y equals 6, because that dot stands for a multiplication sign. Being next to parentheses, 3 with a parentheses and a y means 3 times y. And just being next to each other means multiply. 3y equals 6 means 3 times y, or 3 times blank. So. Be careful because when you put the letters next to each other, it only means multiply. You never do that for adding or subtracting, okay? That only means multiply and it doesn't mean divide either. It's only multiplication. And so is this and so is that, okay? We can use any letter as the variable, but remember to use a different letter to represent different numbers. If x times 4 equals 8, do you know what x is? and y times 4 equals 20, then x times y equals 10. So you can figure this out, that this must be a 2, that must be a 5, because 5 times 4 is 20, so 2 times 5 would be 10. See? So they each represented a different number. All right? You can't have x equal a 3 or a 5 in the same problem, because it would be too confusing. They each have to be assigned their own number. Well, for this group of of expression, this group right here, the x equals 2 and the y equals 5. For another problem, the x and y may equal something else. For the very next problem, x could be 5 and y could be 2. You never know. It goes from problem to problem. So they always change. So don't think forever that x is going to be 2. It varies, okay? Their value varies from problem to problem, equation to equation, expression to expression. They're variables. That's why they're called variables. Their value always varies. We can write algebraic expressions for word problems or word expressions. This is a word expression because it's not a full word problem. Ten more than two boxes of X amount would be ten plus, see, ten more, ten plus, than two boxes of X. Two boxes times X, see, because it's two times X amount. We could also say ten plus two X. Five times the sum of Y and twelve would be a five, and then we could put a dot there if we wanted to and then we'd have y plus 12, because we wouldn't want to do 5 times y and then add 12. It's the sum of y and 12, so that tells us to do that in a parentheses, see? We could also do it with just the 5 next to the parentheses, which is usually how you're going to see it written. This is not seen very often. This is what you're going to see most of the time. 5 parentheses y plus 12. If you saw 3 times the difference of 4 and 2, then that means it's 3 times 4 minus 2. So you do the 4 minus 2 first. You would also see 3 next to the parentheses, 4 minus 2. That's going to be the one you see most often. I don't see the dot used very often. Several people were at the party. When six more arrived, after the cake was served, four people left. So we use P for people, and we can say P plus 6 minus 4 and then you would know how many people were at the party. See? Six arrived, four left, so it's people plus the six minus the four, and then that would be an expression, an algebraic expression. So to write for two operations, remember to use parentheses to show which to do first, because you wouldn't know which one to do first. See? You wouldn't want to do three times four 
and then take away 2, it would be a different answer, okay? So we can choose variables that help us remember what they stand for by using the first letter of that item. Emma took a number of dogs for a walk four times can be written as 4 times D with the dot or 4 next to the D. And we use D for dogs. That way we know that when we're multiplying, we were multiplying the amount of the dogs. See? Just like I did here with the P for the people. So you can use a variable that has the first letter of something so that, especially if you're doing several, then you can keep track of what it was you were multiplying because your variable stands for that item. Isn't that ingenious of them to think of doing that? So that's how to write algebraic expressions. And we're going to continue talking about algebraic expressions. I hope to see you in the next video. Keep working hard. I'm proud of you. You can do this. Bye.